All right, so uh, we're inside Katia, and we want to do some advanced machining. Um, before I do that, I'm going to get out of this product, because if I go into advanced machining, it will bring this product and attach it to my cat process, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to close that. File, new, process, click on it, enter. First thing we notice is that um, this tree is a little bit different. Uh, we don't have a cap part or anything, it's just empty space with this uh, axis system in the middle. And you'll notice if you've started yours up and you're brand, brand new in the workbench um, that there's a lot less icons on my screen than yours. So I'm going to show you and I'm going to show you what it is that you should get rid of if you're just starting out. Um, and if you ever get lost, like you, you can't find an icon or something like that, you can go here, you just double click or right click in any blank space where there are uh, utilities. Go to customize, toolbars, restore all content, okay, restore position, okay, close. So I'm going to bring out here all the different stuff that I don't use. Uh, I've been using this for years and if you're just getting started, um, these are the kinds of things that you will likely not use. Besides setting up your machine, um, a lot of this is going off the idea that you are using a template <clears throat> where all the parameters on your machine are set up because that's a little more esoteric to where I'm not going to be able to just tell you your max feed rate is 1400 inches per minute or 2 meters per minute, whatever. Um, I always use my file up here for those. Um, get rid of this guy. And leave, 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 leave. Get rid of, get rid of. Use, use, use. Alright, cool. So now we have a lot of the riffraff out of the way. This is stuff that we don't use. I, I don't use and if you're learning this you're probably not going to use it either. Although some of those icons are used for setting up your machine. What is your machine? This is where all your parameters for your machine are saved. So we're going to double click in there and take a quick look. Um, no machine selected. Uh, let's go in there. You'll notice part operation. This is just your name. Uh, if you want, you can do side one um, or off one, um, whatever it is you want to do. But we're going to assign a machine. Um, I'm going to assume we're using the five axis, but they have a, a, a number of different default machines. And you can also set up a machine. If you have a model of your machine, you can uh, create it using, I want to say it's NC machine tool machine simulation. And uh, you got to have the kinematics package and a couple of different things. But if you have all that, you can set up a really nice uh, simulation um, setup inside of Katia, and you won't need to go get a more expensive software. All right, and you would go and select that once you have that all built through here. Um, inside here, we have different parameters for our machine. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this because, like I said earlier, it's more uh, based off of your machine. But you can set up a couple things. I do want uh, this to be X Y Z I J K. Just to, if you're if you're new to programming and you're not quite sure what that means, um, your X Y Z obviously is just coordinates. And then if you um, uh, your I J K is you know if your if your coordinates are here, your I J K are showing where your tool is pointing from there which through your post processor will assign your B axis or C axis or however it is your machine is set up. So um, let's say that magically you got your machine all set up, you have uh, all your parameters set. Now how do we get a part in here? Well we gotta bring it in. This icon will assign a product to your cat process. Um, I have one I just threw together for this demonstration. Um, so now you can see it popped in here. Um, now that we got the 
um, part in here I'm going to set my axis to be the same. Um, you can do this in generative shape design or uh, what's the name of that other workbench? Part design. You assign it using this icon or just double clicking on these words. Um, click the red, assign it, and I don't like all that default text nonsense. So I throw a couple spaces to kind of bring it out away from um, the origin and go ahead and define it. So it looks like that. It's easy to see. Uh, if you want to hide that, you can go ahead and put it in hidden space. That's fine. And now the other two that are important to assign are your raw stock and your part design or tool design or mold design, whatever it is you're working with. So this gray spot is my raw stock, my raw material. Go ahead and assign that. Now you can click it or double click it or click it and then click in black space whatever you can see that is the solid that I want um, now we assign our, our actual part what we want it to end up being and we got that and now this uh, where this specifically helps is roughing operations there is intelligent roughing in Katia that will notice where material is taken away and where material isn't taken away Besides that, it's not too necessary. And even uh, this um, directory here, it, it's it's more for three to five axis than anything else, as far as I can tell. Also, um, they're they're both also used in your simulation. So if you're doing a simulation in your raw stock, you come up with a prompt that says uh, Katia is going to automatically make some raw stock for you. That's because you don't have it assigned here. Um, you can also do a gouge analysis or um, a couple different fun things in the simulation and those are, are using these two settings and then um, like I said your roughing uses your, your raw stock here and then uh, 3 to 5 axis which is really cool that Katia can do um, let's say you have uh, your tool coming in here we're looking at a, a cut section of it and as your tool comes in your collet is getting a little close to this uh, corner. Well, at three to five axis can say, "Oh shit, I've gotten within you know five centimeters of it. I'm going to kick over so that way I don't hit it." Well, that intelligence is based off of this uh, definition here. So, those are the two that I want to find. And safety plane, I've used that one a number of times. Um, yeah, you can play around with all this different stuff. And everything else in here not too important for just getting started so um, I changed this to op1 um, we got a part in the resource list is the 5-axis machine um, we have our product that we assigned and this is the machine where we did all that and this is basically your program so once you output you're going to be outputting from this icon um, on the machines I've always programmed, it's uh, an O and then four digits. So that would be the name of my program. And there's nothing inside there. And that's just naming it, comment, uh, op1, whatever. If you need to assign some uh, post-processor instructions, you can go over to this icon, um, assign it to your program, and whatever it is, it, that's another thing that's different for all different machines. So whether you're setting your origin or getting the spindle moving, um, yeah, all, all your uh, initial startup code can go in there. So let's say we got all that assigned. Um, then we're ready to start machining and uh, I'm gonna make a video going over the basics of operations so if you want to click that go ahead and click on my face and uh, that will take you over to that video